So this is the instrument, um, and you're welcome to, to come take a look. So I've got it set up right now. Um, I have electromagnets on every string from this one on down. It goes the whole range of the instrument, but I didn't have that much set up time this morning to do the last octave and a half. Um, but what you see here is basically uh, a network of brackets, each of which holds a series of electromagnets. Um, so there's one for every note of the instrument. They're basically set up to be about a sixteenth of an inch above the string, high enough to let the string vibrate, low enough to be able to actually influence its vibration. Um, and then there's the amplifiers that are all connected to it here, and this goes to a computer system over there, uh, which is measuring, uh, as I said in the talk, it's measuring what I'm doing here at the keyboard. I've got a scanner at the keyboard, and then I kind of map from one domain to the other. So things that you can do, I mean, so you, this is sort of the default sound of the instrument. Now I can actually play a number of different timbres. I've got it set up for kind of a slightly reedy, um, sort of a slightly reedy sound with a little bit of core to it. Now, one thing you can see is that if you look from over here, when I press into the keys, so you can change the timbre of a note basically. do something where I take a note and I very slowly make it grow from silence. So now of course, you know, there's you know there's nothing stopping me from playing that you know traditional piano here. It's, it's so it's all you, know, you can have notes. So saw in the video is that if I play one key and then I lightly touch the note next to it, I can actually bend the pitch. So you get this very vocal quality out of the instrument. keyboard where you can actually choose individual harmonics on the string. So now when I hold down, I'm going to press a key when I play the notes next to it, it's going to trigger the different harmonics on this string. So. Now this is all, it's, this, this is all just on this string here. And so you can, you can get some really sounds because of course the strings are tuned even tempered but the harmonic series is not so you you get these weird interactions between so you can hear some of that beating if I do multiple notes like that at a time so there's the seventh partial of C you hear where that is with respect 
thing to the actual piano notes, so. <laughs> so I had one of the composers who, one of the composers who wrote for the instrument was really into kind of natural tunings and uh, sort of overtone series, and he, he wrote this whole piece full of just different harmonics on all those strings with just the weirdest tones that you could imagine, and kind of all his cadences would end up on sounds like that, you know, like this. This would be kind of his cadence point, would be one of these sort of beating sort of sounds, but um, so I've just got it right now where I switch it between playing one way or playing the other, you know, it's a hard challenge to figure out how to play arbitrary harmonics independently on each string without making it completely impossible to play, because you don't want to have to, you don't want like 16 keyboards like this to play different harmonics on each string. So anyway, um, Myself, um. <laughs> I'd like to try one thing actually. Yeah. Go for it. If you have the 